The search for a suspect continues two years after a woman and her dog were brutally murdered in Piedmont Park. Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us. For Fox 5 News at 4, I'm Christine Spiro. Katie Janess and her dog were stabbed to death on this date in 2021. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes joins us from Piedmont Park in Atlanta. And Deidre, you spoke to the victim's loved ones today. And the victim's loved ones and police who two years after Katie Janessa's murder say this is still a very active investigation. They remain hopeful that someone will come in forward with information that will lead to a break in the case. The way Katie died, no one should ever have to. Joe Clark joined mourners at Piedmont Park the day after Katie Janess and her dog were brutally murdered. His daughter was Janessa's girlfriend. It does baffle us that, you know, how could someone do such a horrible crime and then to just be nothing. I spoke with Joe Clark by phone on this two-year anniversary of Katie's murder as the search continues for her killer. It's a busy park and it's just always baffled me that the only picture that we see of Katie is on the Rainbow Crosswalk and then she's found several blocks away. And it's just how could no one have had any type of contact with me Atlanta? is even busy at midnight. Janice was taking her dog for a walk when she was viciously attacked. The woman and her dog were both stabbed to death. Officers were called to the entrance of Piedmont Park at 10th Street and Charles Allen Drive around 1 a.m. on July 28, 2021, after Janice's partner, Emma Clark, went looking for her and made the gruesome discovery. The couple lived just up the street from the park. Atlanta police held a news conference Friday afternoon in an effort to generate new leads in the case. We're asking the community, uh, you may not have even been in the park that night, but if you've heard or saw anything that seems suspicious, just off, please notify us. Danessa's partner left town soon after her murder. Her father says the past two years have been difficult. It was a hard time when it happened, when they, you know, people wanted to point fingers, so we just kind of tried to stay out of the spotlight with that, you know, she, uh, he might have police protection for quite a while afterwards, even, you know, because of just people doing that. So that made it even harder for the healing process. And police say they continue to follow tips and leads in this case. Anyone with information is urged to call APD or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live from Piedmont Park, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 yeah, News. The case, the case shocked the community. Uh, hopefully something breaks soon. Thanks so much, Deidre. And